What's up YouTube, Comrade D-Man here, and I just wanted to make another Zippo video. Now again, this is going to be a very different and serious Zippo video because me and a couple of other people who I have been talking to, especially like Zippo dealers, because on eBay, that's where I purchased this, as well as a few other Zippos. Um, I was talking to the dealer, found out we have a lot in common, and um, one thing that really got my attention was one fatal business flaw Zippo has. And guys, this is a disclaimer as well at the beginning of the video. I'm not throwing shade at Zippo. I'm not complaining about Zippo in any way, shape, or form. They are by far the most superior lighter that was ever created. However, the problem that I see Zippo having is that for whatever reason, there has been an increased demand in Zippo's and I didn't really understand it until I talked to the dealer that I was talking to. Because back in 2015, when I had this, this is my grandfather's Zippo. It still has its original warranty card and everything. Well, it was upside down. As you can see, I believe this is 1967 date bottom stamp. Don't hold me to that because I haven't checked my date code. I don't have it with me. However... Back when I made the video on this, this was only worth about $10, $15, $20 now. I mean, God only knows what this is worth now. I mean, I have no idea. I'm not going to try to claim, I mean, maybe $30, $35 because it's used or whatever. I, I don't really know. But, I mean, it was my grandfather's, so I'm never going to sell it anyway. It's priceless to me. But, however, both vintage Zippos and new Zippos, the demand, for whatever reason, especially on eBay, has been going in this direction constantly. And I recently, again, talking with this dealer, have discovered that Zippo is becoming increasingly reliant on countries like India, China, Japan, Turkey, other countries like that, because that's where, as well, Philip Morris is sending a lot of their tobacco products, and I smoke Marlboro Reds, and I didn't understand why all of a sudden they raised the smoking age from 18 to 21 without a grandfather clause until I found a bunch of this stuff out, because in my opinion, it was just a lobbying thing that Philip Morris wanted to do so they could ship more of their cigarettes overseas, charge more for shipping them overseas to places like China, because there they have a much higher population. I think it's like five times as much as the United States or, or something. And they don't have, like, you know, the smoking laws that we have here. And that's why Zippo is becoming increasingly reliant on China. Now, again, none of this, what they make these lighters out of, none of it's sourced out of China. It's all still made in America. It's all, and it always will be, because the only reason why even China, which is an enemy of the United States in my opinion, why they want Zippo lighters is because it's made in America. That's why they want them. Over there, it's, you know, I guess the cool thing or, or whatever. But however, I see that becoming a potential problem for Zippo, possibly in the future, if relations with China continue to sour. Now, again, I'm not going to get into the political situation in this country right now, because, again, it's all over the place. But that is the problem that I see with Zippo, is they're becoming more and more dependent on selling their lighters to China as well as Japan, India, stuff like that. And I mean, it's really not the biggest deal in the world. However, if Zippo, for whatever reason, or not Zippo, if China, for whatever reason, decides, okay, we're banning the importation of Zippos because, um, you know, a new trade war has started up, I mean, you could see Zippo go out of business from that because they are becoming increasingly dependent on shipping their Zippos overseas to China. And it is good to an extent that America is exporting Zippos, at least exporting something, 
out of this country and being able to make a profit from it. However, the sad thing is, is that the anti-smoking crusade in this country is making it to the point where you're not seeing these lighters used very much anymore. And that is why me, as well as others like Zippo Fanatic and everyone else, we really want, at least I do, I really want to get Zippo back mainstream. And I know Zippo Fanatic does too, because if we can get Zippo, the demand for Zippos, back up to where it used to be back in the 60s and 70s, which is very unlikely, but if we could, then, I mean, if that was ever to happen, where China says we are no longer importing Zippo lighters, they won't have to worry, because there'll be a bunch of people buying them over here. And not to say there isn't people buying them over here, but it's more collectors. There's not many smokers anymore. And again, that's because there's been a whole societal change. And, you know, I'm not going to go into the whole, you know, long drawn out history on how, you know, smoking went from being, oh, you know, everyone smokes to, you know, oh, you're going to get crucified on a cross for smoking. But um, anyway, you know, and I also wanted to compare the reason why I have these is the quality of Zippos from their older ones to their newer ones. Now the quality on these two are about identical. Now the quality on a new Zippo is just a hair less that I've found at least. Like just a hair. And that doesn't really matter much because I mean all the other lighter companies I mean compared to Zippo. Zippo is always going to be top dog because they have their amazing warranty and they're still good quality. Don't get me wrong. A modern Zippo this really isn't a good example because that's an armor, but a modern Zippo like this, I mean, it's still a nice lighter. I mean, don't get me wrong, but however, just the fit and finish of an antique Zippo like this one. And let me go get yet another Zippo that I have back over here compared to this one, which is a 2011. I mean, as you can see, I'm sure you can see what I'm talking about. The fit and finish and just quality on this one is just a slight bit better than their modern ones. But again, that's just me, you know, really looking and, you know, stuff like that, as well as this hinge. I mean, my grandfather used this thing a lot. And the hinge is not nearly as loose as this one or this one. So, you know, but I mean, that's the thing. But the main reason why I wanted to make this video is, and you can see it has its original paperwork or whatever you want to call it. And then this is my Camel Zippo. I believe this is a 1992. And this one as well has that nice, much tighter hinge. I kind of wish I hadn't used this now, again, because tobacco Zippos with tobacco brands on them are becoming more expensive because, again, a lot of people in Asia are buying these because they're smoking American cigarettes. They're shipping them over by the boatloads along with Zippos. So I just figured I'd come on and make this video on why we need to at least try our best to get Zippo back on the map and in America's heart. At least that's what I want to do because I just, like me as well as the Zippo seller that I buy all my Zippos from on eBay, I mean, it's hard for me to sleep at night knowing that an American company is reliant on a country that is far from an ally of the United States for all their Zippo sales. So that's why I really, really, really want to stress this to anyone who is watching this video on why you need to carry a Zippo lighter. A, you get the lifetime warranty. B, there's no other lighter on the modern day market like it and has good quality. And C, you're supporting an American company by buying it in America. So that's why. I'm coming on here, making a video like this, and again, guys, I'm not throwing shade at Zippo. I don't have a necessarily a huge problem with it, but it's just, you know, again, if the geopolitical stage shifts, Zippo could get hurt quite badly. That's all I'm saying. 
So that is the main problem I could see happening. But anyway, this is kind of a rambly video. Sorry guys, I just wanted to get that off my chest because I've been thinking about it a lot and it kind of, it, it does honestly bother me to an extent. Again, that an American company based in America and as well as like, I mean, up in Bradford, Pennsylvania, I mean, that town is dying, sadly. And that's because not many people in Bradford even are using Zippos anymore. And it's sad because they're all going overseas to Europe and Asia and everywhere else. That's why, guys, we need to get Zippo back on the map. We need to get people using Zippos again. And again, Zippo isn't necessarily, you know, oh, not what they used to be, but like, I'm sure you understand what I'm saying, especially some of you like Zippo Fanatic, if you're watching this, like, back in the 70s, Zippo was, you know, if anyone had a cigarette lighter, it was a Zippo. Now, that's not the case. That That's pretty much what I'm saying. And I really want to put Zippo back at that place, or at least try my best. So, sorry for the rambly video, I just wanted to come on here and make this and you know talk about it at least just a little bit and again guys I'm not throwing shade at Zippo I still love the company they always respond to my emails they're always very good to deal with they have that amazing lifetime warranty that they're still giving out even with COVID-19 so but again I just wanted to come on here and make this video on the one fatal flaw that we need to try to help fix Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.